So whenever I post minimap screenshots or stuff like that anywhere, people ask like, what the heck is that tank name? Or what is that tank? Or why is that that? And stuff like that. And the truth be told is you can change the text files in this game. And it's really not that difficult if you know how to. I figured it out kind of, sort of on my own a little bit. Thanks to some help from both Pansy and Quaxon who have done this kind of stuff before. Quaxon especially is a huge time saver for a reason I'll explain later, but uh, it's not really that difficult if you know how to. And I know people are actually wondering how to do it. So I am here to show you. Two warnings before you go and do this. The first one is this will be a time consuming process if you decide to do this. You're like, I should throw that out there right now. Even if you want to change just the one name, if you want it to function correctly, it's still going to be a time-consuming process for future updates. If you don't update it, you don't really face anything bad like crashes or anything. However, it's not as good. Things will break visually, but otherwise gameplay stays the same. The thing is, if it's a tank's name that you want to change, it'll be really cluttery on the minimap if that tank just doesn't show up. That really isn't much of a time consuming process to do the changing it's the maintaining what you've changed um for it to everything work properly that's the part that takes a while um but for starters you're gonna need seven zip you're gonna need win merge both of which are free and then you are also going to you don't have to use it, you could find your own method, but there is a website that I will put in the description uh, on easygif.com where you transfer a converted MO text file to a PO file. And PO files are editable, MO files are readable by the game, but not to us. Yeah, hi, this is me in editing. Uh, you're also going to need PoEdit. I forgot to put PoEdit in here, but you're going to need PoEdit, and there's also a link to that as well. Why there has to be the extra step, I don't really know, but it's whatever. Uh, we're doing it to my EU client because I don't really play on EU all that much, and I feel like this will be easier just to show you on this as opposed to anything else. Uh, and we can just keep the game open, actually, this whole time. So, first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to go download 7-Zip and open it up. From here, you're going to want to navigate to your World of Tanks folder. All the way back here. I'll zoom in on this so you can read it. You're going to want to go to res. Text. LC messages. And here are all of the MO files that contain all the text things. Now, some things are hidden, kind of like secrety in places you wouldn't really expect them. For example, Watt Plus is underneath... Uh, subscription uh, right there that's this is where what plus is but then other ones make sense like Sweden vehicles all the Swedish tanks Sweden tank men is all the tank names um, similarly if you go down to USA tank men if I open that up we'll see all of the names in this here all of these show up there so you can change these to be whatever you want um, I also want to abundantly point out here that if you make a mod that contains things that are against the game rules, such as, you know, slurs and other nasty things like swearing, uh, you can get banned. So, yeah, don't. Especially if you want to share your mod to other people, that's a quick way to get banned. So, yeah, don't do that. For this, we're going to be using usavehicles.mo because I'm going to change the name of the M44. That's why it's up on screen. So you're gonna take USA vehicles and just take it somewhere and put it where you know where it is. We'll just make a new folder on my uh, computer just called tutorial. Throw that into there. So now we have this. So then you're gonna wanna go over to, link in the description, which you're probably going to want to bookmark because you're going to use it a decent amount. Uh, easygif.com slash mo2po. And 
what you actually want to do is drag this MO file over the choose file button and then upload it, convert it, save it. It will download it as a PO file. And then you're going to want to go to your downloads. and move it from your downloads to wherever you had the other one, just so it's easy to find. So now you have your PO and your MO in the same folder because you've converted it with easy GIF and then drag it to the same spot. So you can X that out now. You don't need easy GIF again, uh, unless you want to do multiple files, but I recommend just starting with one. And then another link in the description is PO edit. Now, once you open one of these with PO edit, it's good, it's solid you uh you're done you don't have to keep telling it to do it uh but once you're done downloading po edit and you open this in po edit you'll be greeted with this now this is a lot admittedly this is a lot and if you don't know what you're looking for you can get lost here very quickly um i also would want to point out that not all the tanks that you know have the same name as what you are used to. For example, the the Renegade is called the T-54E2, which is nothing like M-54 Renegade, right? Uh, you can get away with just searching the name of any tank that you want, though, if you want to change that name, uh, because it will just show up. But you want to make sure you have the right one. So, M44 is a weird case. It shows up all the way at the bottom of the text file. I'm not really sure why. Uh, but we can we can go and change this to be whatever we want. Uh, I believe this is the right one. Yeah, underscore M44 description. So we can change this to be whatever we want. So we're gonna change it to be Jeff because people have actually asked me to make this mod before. Um, you can also find in here all of the modules. So like if I look up 155 millimeter howitzer M45, uh, if I look up M45, that's not it. There it is. And now I can change this to be very annoying. So now we've changed the name of the M44 and all of the modules in the M44. So you're gonna hit save when you hit save it takes this and it exports it and compresses it back into an mo file so this if i refresh is now the new mo file so you're going to want to copy this make sure you have that copied and you're going to want to go to whatever client you want to mod so world of tanks eu go to your res mods folder go to the current patch because otherwise it's not going to work. In here, you're going to want to make a new folder called text. And in here, you're going to want to make a new folder called LC underscore messages. Not an uppercase I, lowercase L. And then in there, paste the new MO file. Not the PO file, the MO file. And then if you're in the game, you're going to want to restart the game, which I'll do now. I would like to point out that when you remove a text file from the game, if you don't put it back, all of the words have the IDs show up instead of the name that is supposed to replace it. That's the that's the plan B in case the ID doesn't have an, a translating name to work with. This is how games can afford localization and stuff. They'll just come up with an ID, and then each nation has their own different localization file that, you know, does all that stuff. That's why they come up with one ID, and then they have 15 different languages. They don't have to go in and change every language, they just make a localization file for that language. And that's how localization files work. But there you go. M44 is now called Jeff. If we go to the modules... We have very annoying as the gun, optional as this, uh, the tracks, and then I guess I changed the wrong engine uh, because that one's not changed. 
uh, which is why you really need to make sure you get the names right. So this is another thing to address, and this is actually a good time for this. Uh, let's actually scroll up and find a name for it. Uh, let's see. You'll see some name, some tanks have underscore short after them. That is because tanks with longer names need abbreviated versions of them like t28 prot so let's find t28 prototype alternatively actually m41 bulldog because i did see that one so let's find m41 bulldog and you'll see we have m41 bulldog short and then m41 bulldog m41 bulldog's full name is m41 walker bulldog short name is m41 bulldog the short name is what shows up in the team lists as well as what shows up in the tech tree and then in the garage at the bottom uh no sorry the garage in the middle the longer name is this up here which shows up in the statistics menu like what's showing on screen right now the whole picture thing at the top i believe when you right click it shows at the top of this and the top of this and then in the garage, it shows the short one right there. So if you change the short, it will show up in the team lists that way. Since the name is so short, it just has the one name. Um, other versions of that, we have uh, the classic object 263 being just changed to OBJ, as with all of the object tanks. But yeah, go through. These are all the descriptions right here. All this stuff in here is all the descriptions. You go down a little bit, and then you'll have all the names of stuff. I don't know why B1 has a short name. It's the same thing. Every single patch where a new tank gets added, it has its new IDs added to this page here. Um, like when they add a new tank, the number will be A159 or whatever it is for the next tank and you'll have to go and add those to your file so we go down here we find this and that is the sheridan e4 hailstorm anytime they add one of these you have to add that to the file how you add that to the file is with win merge which is why you need win merge as well this is where we go into how Quaxon has saved me so much time. So let's just open Win Merge. And you'll open it. There's going to be nothing here. You hit File and then Open. And then you're going to want to bring up the new file when it comes out and then the old file from before. You can get a jump on this with the test server stuff as well, which makes it really easy. The other good news is when you have extras, that don't apply to the game anymore, you don't have to go in and delete them because the game just sees it as, well, I'll just wait for a variable to come in and fill that spot. So let's just take one from back here. Let's do, let's add a new branch added since whatever, uh, Japan, I think. So we'll go Japan vehicles, the PO translation, and then we'll go with the one that just came out this patch we'll go japan vehicles and then we'll compare them now what you're looking for is the yellows that are on the right side of this bar here and not the left side because all of this stuff here is missing so right click copy to left if you've already changed some files uh just look it over because uh to avoid copy all there's a copy all button that i i advise you to not use because if you use that one it makes it a lot more difficult to go back and change all the stuff you just did because it will change things that you changed over here so like i can from this menu i can come in and i can change the name of the chinu to be I don't know, Dave. Oh, that's the ID, sorry. I can change the name of the Chinu to just be Dave. You'll see there's a new yellow line here. That's because these are different now. So if you do copy all from right to left, it will change Dave back to a Chinu. 
which makes this tough because if you do all like if you click all and select all add a new patch it will replace everything you've changed and just look at all of the stuff that you could change and japan is one of the smaller nations in this game so you can imagine how much stuff that is but for things that don't exist and it will be pretty apparent because there will be a gap on this side over here right click copy to left and there you go all of this is now in there uh, once you hit save, it saves that as the PO file, and then you can open the PO file back in PoEdit right here and change all the stuff that you want to as well, because that's what it does to add the new IDs. I've made other tutorials for stuff like this, which you should also check out because it's also a lot of fun. I have gone further into this modding rabbit hole than I ever thought I really would, and I've enjoyed making tutorials on this stuff because finding information on it has proven very difficult. That's why there's no tutorial on this channel about changing sounds through WISE, because changing sounds is so lucrative and tedious that even people who know how to do it haven't made a tutorial on it. So definitely check out different tutorials on this stuff, because modding is a lot of fun.